Okay, Mark, uh, well, first of all, um, obviously another victory means back-to-back -back, uh, wins for Dundee United and you're off the foot of the table. How much confidence does that give you going forward now? Yeah, a lot of confidence. Obviously, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Um, but us as a playing group, you know, we know that three games isn't enough. We've got a long way to go to what we want to achieve and, you know, that's finishing in the top six. You know, there's... Uh, there's been a lot of positives to take from these last three games and uh, you know we're looking to continue this good form and try win as many games as possible. And a clean sheet for yourself, I mean how big a confidence boost is that for you as well? Yeah look obviously you know as a goalkeeper and you know speaking on behalf of the back four we pride ourselves on clean sheets so to have uh, two consecutive clean sheets you know it's uh, you know, it's a good feeling to have and, you know, something that we need to build on as well. How pleased are you with your own form and how things are going now? Because obviously it was a difficult uh, start for you at Dundee United, but, you know, how much do you feel now things are coming together? Yeah, look, obviously, you know, as a footballer, I think you speak to, you know, any footballer out there, they're, they're going to have challenges throughout their career. And, you know, most certainly, you know, I faced quite a few challenges when I first arrived to the club, but... You know, I think uh, the World Cup break come at a very good time, you know, for me personally, just to, uh, you know, sit back, recharge the batteries, clear the head and, you know, I, I come back and, you know, I was training hard, working hard in training, trying to be the best version of myself as possible and, you know, find myself back in the team again and, you know, just try and help the team as much as possible and, you know, be there for when the team needs me. So, you know, it's nice to be back and, you know, nice to, nice to have that winning feeling back again. And obviously, um, yourself and Derrickson are both very good goalkeepers and both, you know, trying to be the number one. And I know that you both kind of support each other, but how determined are you to hold on to that number one jersey? Yeah, look, obviously I haven't left Australia to come here to be a number two goalkeeper. You know, I've uh, you know, had plans to come here and, and play every single game this season and, uh, you know, try and further my career. Obviously, you know, the... The competition within the goalkeeper union is, is very healthy. We all have a very good relationship, even with young Jack Newman, who's a great up-and-coming goalkeeper. And, you know, I'm, I'm hungry. You know, I want to cement that spot as the club's number one and, you know, I'll do whatever it takes. And this weekend, obviously, you face a, a tough task in Rangers on Sunday. And, um, you know, you'll be determined, though, to keep that, that winning form going. Yeah, look, most definitely another challenging game. Obviously, we played... Uh, Celtic just before the break and you know for me Celtic uh, you know a fantastic team and you know a bit of un unlucky uh, play at the end of the game you know we would have walked away with with a point so you know, the team's full of confidence we've had three really good results and we'll be going into the game on Sunday full of confidence and you know we'll be looking to, to take all three points. How difficult are Rangers going to make it for you? Because they themselves obviously be disappointed to to get the draw against Celtic, and obviously themselves hoping to keep that push on the on the top. Place yeah, of course. You know, Rangers are a fantastic side. You know, they've uh, they've come back from the break as well, and I think they're they're unbeaten. So uh, you know, it's going to be a challenging game. You know, but we we'll, we've got a lot of confidence and belief in the group that we can. Uh, we can go out there on Sunday and, you know, cause a real upset. You know, I strongly believe in this playing group. There's enough quality in this squad to, you know, to, to beat any team on any given day. So, you know, we'll be going into the game on Sunday full of confidence. Do you see a sort of switch in the side in terms of their confidence and the mood around the camp but just, just the general feeling from, from when you first came into the club? Yeah, most definitely. Like I said, uh, you know, the, the World Cup break come at a good time for me personally. I think it, it come at a good time for for the team in general, just to, you know, recharge, re, uh, freshen up, recharge the batteries. And, you know, we've come back, we've kind of had like another pre-season, really. We've had five weeks, the boys have, you know, worked hard, um, you know, we've done a lot of things, you know, on the training pitch, worked on a lot of things, fixed things up that needed fixing. And, uh, you know, it's showing in the, in the last three games that, you know, the work we put in, in that five-week mini pre-season that we had is, is paying off. Mark, as the last line of uh, defence, how much are you looking forward to the, the challenge of uh, trying to keep Morelos and Co out? I mean, that's, but that's what you become a professional for, isn't it? Yeah, of course. You know, these are the games that you want to play in. Um, you know, we all know that they've got world-class players in, in their team and, you know, what a way to, to play in front of our home crowd. I'm sure there'll be a 
you know, a big turnout and, you know, Rangers fans as well. So no, I'm really looking forward to the challenge, mate. It's, uh, it's exciting. Can't wait. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, the team has been on the wrong end of some uh, heavy defeats by, uh, you know, the old firm this season. But I guess you'll see this weekend as a, a great chance to, to put things right. Yeah, look, most definitely. Obviously, uh, you know, the start of, you know, the first half of the season, you know, it's not where we wanted to be, you know, rooted at the, the bottom of the table. But like I said, the, the beliefs in, in the playing groups there, you know, we've got a lot of confidence growing, you know, in the group. And, you know, we're not scared of anyone. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're full of confidence and we're going to go out there Sunday wanting to win and, you know, play our style of football and, you know, excite the fans. Thanks, Mark. Hi Mark, um, you know, seven points from ten in the last three games have been pretty incredible for United. You might not have um, anticipated that kind of run considering the start to the season. However, obviously it's really picked up, it's looking great. Is this affecting the players' positivities? Should have been nine from nine, you know, I thought we were, uh, you know, unlucky against Hearts. Um, you know, I thought we were the better team on the day, um, you know, and a soft penalty at the end, you know which I don't think was a penalty. But anyway, you know, this is football. These decisions sometimes go your way, sometimes can go against you. And if you don't want to get complacent, you know, it's only, it's only three, three good results. And, you know, we, we're looking to build on that. Um, you know, and that starts from coming in day in, day out on the training pitch and putting things right. And, you know, I'm glad it's, uh, you know, we can... Uh, we can show what we've been working on, you know, come the weekend, you know, because uh, we've worked on a lot of things in on the break and, uh, you know, there's a lot of confidence in the playing group and, uh, yeah, Sunday's another challenge. I don't want to say a massive game at the weekend because, let's face it, every game in this league is a massive game. However, do you find that games against the likes of Rangers and Celtic can be seen as, like, a free hit because, no, like, everyone is potentially anticipating Rangers to you know, to back them to win this weekend. But if you can take a point or, you know, three points away, do you think that people would be shocked by that? Yeah, of course. You know, the, I've heard a lot of things and even the boys speaking about it, that it's, uh, you know, this is a bonus game. But, you know, me personally, I go into every game wanting to win, regardless if we play Celtic, we play Rangers, we play Livingston. You know, it's another game for us and... You know, it's a good challenge and like I said, we'll be going out there to take three points and, you know, creep back up the ladder and into the top six where I think we, 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 we deserve to be. Obviously, you've faced Rangers at Ibrox already this season. What do you think are the key differences between the team then and who you're about to face on Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. look, unfortunately, um, I missed that game. Obviously, I was out injured, but... Uh, yeah, look, obviously Rangers have come back from the break. Obviously they've got a new coach and, you know, they strung a few good wins together and I think they've come back, you know, a refreshed team as well. They're undefeated, so it's going to be a real challenge. But uh, you know, it's a challenge that, you know, me personally and, and the team are really looking forward to. Excellent. Thanks, Mark.